Hello guys and welcome back to Pulsar Lost Colony. Uh, do some mess here with you today. I don't have anybody else. I thought I would come in and do a little practice as captain. I'm going to start by sitting in the captain's chair. Looks good to me. Looks like we've got a couple of WD scouts around us. No big deal because we are WD and we are friendly with them. We still have a good standing. Um, see the closest scout drone to us. Uh, having a little issue there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go through what it takes to damage. I mean, to, I was sitting here looking at this. Sitting here, uh, I was looking at 650 damage there. What we're going to do is we're going to go through what it takes to start up to be a captain. So, if you're playing with a short crew, you have to add bots. Now, my recommendation is you have a weapon uh, weapons person, uh, personnel and an engineer personnel. So you have an engineer and a weapon specialist or whatever they're called. Um, and then you want to add a pi bot, which is a pilot bot, and you want to add a psi bot. And that should be the only two pilots you need. Now, uh, you'll need to go into your talents and assign those to your pilot and silent scientist. Um, I never allow use of main turrets because you want our gunners to do that. But boosting ship rotation speed is nice, and thrusters are nice for your pilot. But really, uh, you want something that's going to do everybody good. So, Because this is for the pilot. Like if I was letting him pilot the ship, this is what it would do. We want to uh, do something that helps everybody else. So we would do something like increase carry capacity by 10 per rank. I don't know if that's everybody. This may just be him. And even still, we want his health to be good and boost pistol damage and health, uh, respawn time, all that kind of stuff. That way, if he ends up in a fight with you, then he can help you by uh, being able to respawn or do more damage or whatever else. And then the scientist is about the same thing. You just want to do basic stuff. Uh, except for this one, heals nearby allies for a small amount over time. That is a good one to put on him. Because it keeps you healthy. And that's all I see. Increased capacity, carrying capacity by 10 per rank is no good. Allow you to maintain tears, absolutely not. Increased respawn time. Uh, probably just boost up his health too so do something like that and that all right and then we're gonna go uh, back to crew we're gonna sign priorities to the pie bot and you see these are my priorities I have signed assigned because I don't want him actually piloting the ship uh, close to captain I do not want him close to me I want him doing what he's supposed to be doing repelling invaders I'd rather him just stay out of the way so then we got weapons use we definitely want him on weapons definitely want him on weapons. Well, not the main turret but the the uh, laser cannons definitely want him on laser cannons not the main turret though uh, board enemy ship don't want him board enemy ship man station don't really want him man in his station because I want to pilot the ship or your pilot wants to pilot the ship so um, Manning turrets, yes, we want them to man the turrets. Not the main turret, but man the turrets for sure. Uh, vocal comms don't need them. Missile users, don't want him using those. Evade enemy ships, don't want him doing that because we'll be piloting. Uh, protect systems, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, now that I think about it, if we got boarded, having them protect the systems is probably not such a bad idea. So throw a couple of points on there, that's way down on the deal. Uh, repair hull, absolutely. Full up. Main turret, man turret full up. Weapons useful. Fire patrol and repair systems should be your top priority. So, uh, and then collect, strap, line up, uh, collect scrap, line up for ship warp. Those don't really matter because, you know, we'll be doing it. Um, same thing with the Sawbot. You kind of want to go with the same setup here. Uh, except we don't want him doing cyber warfare or programs or any of that kind of stuff. We literally just want him for shooting and repairing. Alright. So there's a good overview overview of what you would need to do with him. 
And now I'm gonna take a look at the pilot seat for me. Um, this is what I was having trouble with in the last episode was how do I turn this thing, right? So as you can see, I'm turning my mouse and my camera and it's doing all the work. That's not what we want to do. We want to hit X and go into manual pilot mode and then uh, your up and down W and S become your your uh, tilt, right? And then your A and D are still your side thrusters to turn you side to side. Your Q and E still roll. But now your mouse button one is your booster or your thruster and your mouse does nothing but control the camera at this point so that's what we wanted to do so this is something I failed to learn in the last one was uh, the fact that I was missing a button was just blowing my mind I was like okay it said there is a way to do this but I don't know how so um, got that figured out and quick recap on how you fly you hit X to go into manual mode which you definitely won't and then uh, your WSAD keys W and S S is your tilt up W is your tilt down just like you're flying an airplane left and right is A is left and D is right and then your rolls are Q and E that's roll left E is roll right Mouse button one is your actual thrusters, and then you have a free cam that you can use however you want to, and it does not push your ship in any direction. I think that's very handy. I did not know that. Um, I'm very sorry for not knowing that. I read over the instructions and everything on camera, I'm pretty sure, and just missed hitting the X button. And thanks to Seedrum for figuring that out for us. So um, let's point this puppy at the hub right here, and we're going to make a jump to the hub. We're going to go up here and initiate jump. And, you know, running a short crew, everybody has to be on task of what they're actually doing and that kind of stuff. And you can see just by running the ship, I ran our temperature up almost to the point of um, overheating the reactor. So we're going to throw some, uh, some coolant on that real quick. Run this all the way up. It is weapons, shields, science lab. Hold that stuff all the way up right now. All right, we're gonna turn that guy off. We're gonna jump, and we should be able to skip the jump here in just a second. So, and we're just going to the hub. So no big deal. And we have a mission. Not what I wanted to do. Missions: defend a mining base, stop Alliance intruders. Complete mission within three jumps. I think we can do that. Uh, two Alliance ships entered WD sector, raided, mine, raided a mining base, raid a, two raid a mining base. Metal bandits have infiltrated the station. Eliminate all intruders. All right, we will do that in the next episode for sure. We're going to drop out a warp here, and we should be at the hub. Let's take a look around. We are, and we're still in manual mode, so we're going to go right over here. Oh, facing the wrong direction. Like what in the world is happening? And I'm gonna try to park this puppy right there so we don't have any more piloting anything going on. And we're gonna try to park this puppy right here. Alright guys, I know that probably seems easy enough for most of you, but considering I really don't know how to fly, I think this is pretty good. This is a pretty good start.
All right. So there's a quick little overview of the things that I kind of set up and kind of had planned. Um, I know assigning stuff to the bots is probably the most important for a lot of people because a lot of people do not have five friends to play this game with on a regular basis. So if you're playing by yourself or if you're playing with one other person and you have two bots, then you want to make sure that you have everything set up the way you want it. Um, now again, mine are set up for playing with two other people. So that's the reason it's set up that way. All right, guys. Well, today we went over an overview of uh, some of the things uh, about bots, not all of them. I know there's an update coming, update, uh, what is it, uh, 10? 10.1 or whatever it is that's coming out. They are doing, they're working on an update for um, bot uh, traffic. So like they're, they're, the lines that they take through the ship. It's a complete overhaul of the system. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go check out Leafy Games and uh, on Twitter, and there should be a video link somewhere to their YouTube about their latest um, video. It actually goes through and shows you all the stuff they've been working on. It's very cool. Uh, go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Later, everybody.